Selamat datang. Bienvenido. 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 Welcome. Hey there everybody and welcome to the maccoach.com. In this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to start talking about a whole new application called Numbers. Now Numbers is a whole new application added to the iWork suite. So alongside with Pages and Keynote, we now have a third application to the iWork suite called Numbers. Now what is Numbers? Numbers is similar to some spreadsheet programs you might be used to, like Microsoft Excel. But Numbers goes farther than Microsoft Excel, and it's more of a combination between a design program and another spreadsheet program. So you'll, one thing you'll see that's a lot different with Numbers is that we'll see our spreadsheets and our tables right alongside our charts inside the same document. So it's no longer one big, big spreadsheet document and then in other places we've got tables and charts and everything. Now we can actually lay it out just like it's almost like a pages document or another page layout program and we lay it out just like we're ready to give it to somebody. And all the spreadsheets within the, the same sheet work together. And so you'll have one table on one side of your document, another table on the top, and then some charts that link between all of them. And it can be designed and colored and changed so that it's ready to print right out of numbers. And that's the real power behind numbers is its design elements. So let's go ahead and let's look at some of the, the new features that numbers offers. And we're going to start off by talking about the template chooser. Okay, now here you can see that we have the template chooser. As soon as we open up numbers, whether it's the first time or the billionth time, we get brought, the first thing that we see is the template chooser. So it pulls up this little template chooser here, and if you're used to any other program in the iWork suite, this starts to look familiar. You've seen this before. The template chooser is where we choose the template that we want to work with our document. Now numbers has some really nice templates that they've already created that can really get us going, or we can start from a blank document. Starting from a blank document is as easy as coming up here to the blank icon, clicking it, and then starting your blank document by double clicking. We can also open up a checklist, and this is kind of a unique feature. Let me give you an example here. When you open it up, you simply have created a date and a task, and then a, the ability to check it on and off. So this is a unique feature inside of Numbers 09. And here we can see by opening up the blank document, that it opens up a, a complete spreadsheet like you'd expect from a program like Microsoft Excel. So that's always an option if you need it. This is still resizable, so you can simply, simply click here and resize it, but it gives you a great way to start for those of you that are used to that normal spreadsheet look. You can see here we have some personal finance options, a checking register, a budget calculator, net worth, retirement, school savings, loans, all sorts of stuff that can be really, really handy. And it's all set up and ready to go. These are some nice templates that we're looking at here. We also have some other personal things, such as a workout tracker, weight tracker, um, comparison chart, or even a travel planner. A lot of, once again, very useful things that you can find um, needs for in your life. And then, of course, with the business, you have things like a biz an employee schedule, invoices, and expense reports. So you can see that as we start sorting through these, there's a lot of useful options here with numbers that we normally wouldn't think of with most spreadsheet programs because most spreadsheet programs just start and end at that very scary looking full spreadsheet table. I'm going to look at this budget calculator here. We're going to double click it to open it. You can see it, it opens up a whole bunch of different tables here. So for example, here we input our monthly income and it calculates all of this on the fly. So as I change this, you can see how it's now updated my available cash. And that also goes forward across to all these other items. Some of my expenses, my planned expenses, and it's going to budget it for the month. And it even shows my savings in a nice bar graph here. So all this is available and changeable inside of spreadsheet, inside of numbers. So this is the power of numbers. You can see here that we have our, a mini spreadsheet here, five columns by, or sorry, five rows by two columns. Another mini spreadsheet, three columns by five rows, and another one, another one, and another one. And then when we come up here, we see that we have a chart, and this is linked right here to these months and our savings, our savings total, and it shows us exactly what this is doing. Okay, so now we have a lot more to learn about numbers before we really 
understand it completely. But you can really see how numbers is different than your standard Excel program. It really takes everything a step farther and you're now ready to print this out and give it to your the rest of your family to show how your personal budget is doing by simply using numbers. There's no need to have another page layout program in the middle here. All this integrates completely within the document. And that's the beauty of the new numbers program. All right, well there you go. That's everything you need to know to get going with a template in numbers. You also have a basic understanding of what numbers is and how it can help you. And also the basic differences between numbers and another program like Microsoft Excel. So I invite you to continue on in these getting started tutorials and by the end of them, you're really going to understand everything you need to know in order to really master the new application of numbers. And then you can start showing it to your friends. So here we go. We're going to go on and we're going to continue learning Numbers 2009. And I invite you to stay with me along the way.